So we're off on the sleeper train, off to Goa. Uh, it's going to take 12 hours, and uh, we've got two AC sleeper train, which means um, there's four of us in one berth. One berth. So it should be good. Seems like it's a freaking long train. It's probably the longest train we've ever seen. We've been walking for about, I don't know, I'd say always close to 800 metres to a kilometre. I reckon. We started at one end of the train and now we're going to the rest and all these Indians are really looking. There's um, there's a big queue behind me right now and I think um, there's a train that's running a bit late that's going to be coming soon and they're in the, I think it's the sleeper class where it's just seats and people just cram in and everyone's lining up really, really tightly trying to just get a, when, as soon as the train comes they're just going to jump on and try and get in. So we're going to film it because last time we were in India we saw it and it was chaotic so we're going to try and get it this time. So we just got off the train and we're in an auto rickshaw. This is um, our first time in an auto rickshaw. It's uh, similar to a tuk tuk, a little bit different, I guess. It's kind of like a mini kind of taxi. It's, um, but yeah, so far, what we can see it go, it's really, really green. And um, I think that's probably due to being wet season. So what we're going to do here, probably drink a lot, do yoga and do that. It's very hot though. Um, train station uh, at near Old Goa. I can't remember the name of it. We um, we always feel so sorry for some of the stray dogs that are there. They all look. They always look so sad. And the ones in India, they seem they seem really friendly. So what we did was we had a little bit of water left um, in our water bottle. So Ann got out his Swiss Army knife and cut up the bottom of the water, and we just had a little bowl. And um, we went, and, or Anthony went, and, um, took it over to one of the dogs that was there. There was panting heaps, and he just drank it so quickly. It was really, really cute. Except 
all the Indians at the train station were just staring at him like he was just a fruit loop for feeding this dog or giving this dog some water. But we felt good because the puppy was much, much better. So it was good. On a, uh, a local train. Uh, the last couple of days, um, Lisa's had a migraine, so we've just been working on our website. Um, over the last couple of days, we're doing a full redesign, which is going to be exciting. Um, if you haven't checked out our website, go check it out. Um, don't like doing shameless plugs, but yeah, go check it out if you haven't seen it. What else have we been up to? Not really much else. We, yes, a huge Portuguese influence there. So it was, it was good to see, like you know, all the different architecture and the, the old um, Catholic churches and stuff, and, and huge cathedrals that are there. They're on a beautiful, all, all over ground with moss. So um, if you want to check out that sort of stuff, check out our other channel, which has um, all the travel videos on it. It's me talking about stuff. So there you go. Oh, if you haven't noticed, I'm growing a beautiful moustache. Check it out. We're trying to blend in with the Indians because um, all the Indians love running the tap, so I thought I'd try it myself.